Hey guys, Chris from Tillman Family Farms. Uh, so it's Sunday and I'm uh, out here working trying to get the rest of the garden in. We moved some chickens around this morning. Uh, got the pigs all watered and all that stuff. But what I want to talk to you guys about is um, our very first farmer's market. Um, it was quite an experience. And, um, you know, we didn't know if it was going to be a bust or how well it was going to do or whatever. But... Um, I'm going to run you guys through a little bit of video from yesterday at the market and then I want to talk to you guys about where we feel like we did good or bad or, or however um, and, and our setup and where we were and all that good stuff. So let me take y'all through some of the stuff we went through at the market yesterday. So here we are. This is behind the scenes. We've already sold a dozen eggs. and. Uh, We'll see how it goes. We're set up right when you come in the parking lot there so everybody can kind of see us. So the rest of the market's kind of over off of this way. We'll see how this goes. Yeah. Yeah, we're definitely coming back. We gotta go back to yeah. we're gonna go So that's right? mild and then we have hot. Yeah, I think I'm hot. No, no, I think I did the hot though, the cooler. I think I'll spend before we go, we'll come back and I'll spend a bunch of money. Oh no, 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 I'm sorry, it's on this one. It's brown. Thank y'all so much. Hey, I know her. <laughs> Hello. Okay. It's four dollars. You got a cooler or something? We do. In? Absolutely. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Okay, cool. Come back for mine. Yeah. I have it with you. Well, I can't. Can I get it from you another day? Yeah. Okay. Because we're going to Okay. So, okay. Um, That's fine. I'm going to get some from you. Perfect. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Hey guys, how are y'all? Yes, ma'am. Yes. How much is one chicken? Uh, so we average between thirteen to fifteen dollars, just depending on how much it weighs. He'll give you. So that one. So that's 50, a big one. Yeah. That one's fifteen fifty-two. Mm -hmm. Want one smaller than that? <laughs> That was fine. Okay. okay. So, what? so, 3.88. So, guys, we could not have been more pleased at the turnout at this market. This was the first market at that location this year. Uh, so, it was jam-packed. We almost got there a little too late. We kind of, uh, between our chores here at the farm and then getting loaded up and getting over there, we were almost a touch late. But um, we got a decent spot. We were right there by the parking lot. So what everybody was doing was they were passing us. We were the only meat vendor there. There was a couple other people there that had eggs, but most of it was all uh, craft type stuff. There was a lot of people there that had uh, like jams and jellies and, and there were a lot of people there selling uh, plants and things like that. So it was beneficial to us, I think, to be right there by the parking lot because people were coming in and they were like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna save my money and walk around and then I'm gonna come back to these guys and pick up my cold stuff as I'm going out the door. Out of all the people that stopped and said that to us when they were coming in, probably 85% of them did exactly that. They came back and they bought something. Um, I'll sit down here in just a little bit and I'll kind of go through what we did and how we did and, 
and all that kind of stuff kind of tell you what our best sellers were and all that but it was a great experience we did really really well um we didn't sell out but we took six coolers full of, of uh, items to sell and we only brought back two and even in one of those had all of our ice packs packed into it so it wasn't all full of meat that we brought back so i feel like the market was a great success and i'm about to go in and sit down and go over the numbers with you a little bit uh and kind of tell you how we did okay all right guys so my little bit turned into a day or two i, I got a little tied up um our son's uh senior year in high school and he is a baseball player and we have played a lot of baseball into the playoffs unfortunately last night they lost out so um it's time to get back focused on the farm and what we've got going on so i'm going to go right into this really quick um so i i could talk a long time about set up and getting ready uh, for the market, but I'm gonna hit the high points here so that we can move through this stuff, okay? Um, so the first thing that I would recommend to any of you guys out there that are aspiring to do this is to study. We studied a lot. We watched a lot of videos from a lot of other uh, uh, farms that have YouTube pages that have documented their markets, that have documented their market setups just like what we're doing here. Um, and we learned a lot of things from that. We modeled ourselves uh, off of one that we believe is, is relatively successful. I, I will not say relatively successful, they're, they're really successful. Um, and with that being said, we made sure that we looked very, very professional. We had product that was ready to be sold. We had nice packaging. We had nice labels, uh, a nice presentation in the whole nine yards. So, that was the first thing that we did. So uh, moving into the next section, the tools of what you need. Um, you know, you, you can go to these markets beforehand, before you ever set up, go visit one, go see what it's like. If you intend on setting up at that market, go see what it's like, go see what other kind of vendors are there and, and just see how other vendors present themselves and the things that they're selling so that you can either know how to present yourself bigger and bolder and, and uh, you know, be more prepared to do what you're going to do there. Um, so the market that we went to is, uh, it's just a local market. It's set up uh, in a little field beside a church. Uh, there's a parking lot there and then the little field and everybody sets up tents. So they're 10 by 10 spots. So that was our number one tool was a tent. Um, we had two tables. Uh, we had a display stand for all of the jams and jellies that Jamie makes and sells. Um, we had pricing. So what we did, um, we went to, I think she picked them up at Walmart, but they're the little plastic eight by 10 picture frames that have an L shape on the bottom that stand up on their own. Um, and then we just simply got on uh, a Word document and printed off the things that we wanted to sell or, or that we had to sell and price them on there. Nice, big, bold, clear letters where anybody and everybody could read it. They didn't have to walk right up to you and read the small print or anything like that. They could sit back off to the side and read what you had for sale. And then if they had questions, they could step forward and ask those questions. Um, the coolers, we had to have coolers. We wanted everything to look you know, uh, uniform and all the same. So we went and bought all the same coolers. These coolers are gonna be used for nothing but the markets. They're gonna stay clean, they're gonna stay nice. They're not gonna be beat up, thrown in the back of trucks and trailers and things like that. So these coolers are specifically for markets. <clears throat> One of the other things that we used as a tool that was great for us is payment methods. Um, I, I don't know that there's a way to take payment that we can't take the payment. So cash check uh we take credit cards through the square program um we have cash app paypal uh, venmo I, I mean we have all types of ways to take payment we don't want for you to give us your money and we not have a way to take it so that was one of the big things be ready to take somebody's money any way that they're willing to offer it um a banner we had a banner made that um, we displayed in front of our booth at the bottom of the tables. It was clearly stated 
what we were doing and what we were selling. It had our farm name and it says pasture raised meats. So there's no mistaking what we are selling. We wanted people to know and understand that that's what we had to offer. And, you know, they could see it from, you know, a hundred yards away because that's how big we had it printed. Um, big deal. A lot of people complimented us on the banner and, and uh, we thought it was, it was a really, really nice touch to our booth. Oh, let's see here. Um, so moving on to the next, the, the next uh, uh, line item here, presentation. So, you know, we are farm people, but you don't want to go to the, the, the farmer's market dressed like you've been working pigs all day or working cows all day or putting up fences. I mean, you know, you need to be presentable. Your booth needs to be presentable. Everything needs to be clean and organized and placed and, and you know, your tablecloths need to be nice looking. <clears throat> um, you know, after your customers rummage through your thing, so we have uh, we have jams. So after people have, have picked up and, and done all this stuff to these jams, we would go back around and we would straighten everything back up so that the labels are all facing like they should be so that somebody that walks up that might not want to reach out there and touch everything can read the labels of what those jams are. Um, I, I mean, it, it's uh, it's kind of like a, a retail, um, I forget what they used to call it, zone recovery, that's what it was. So, so you would go back and you would clean that up and you would make it presentable again for your customer that's coming up to check it out. Um, your signage, we talked about signage a minute ago as part of your presentation. Uh, make sure that your signage is uh, big, bold, and legible and out front so that everybody can see it. If y'all hear cats, uh, if y'all hear cats, we're fostering some cats. Um, kittens. Oh, da, 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 da. So the next line item here is have stuff to sell. We wanted to come into this market and everybody think that we've been doing this for a long time and that's the exact effect that we got from people as they came up to us and probably 90% of them were shocked that this was the first market that we'd ever been to um, and, and that all goes back to studying and being well prepared uh, so when I say be well stocked so we took like 40 dozen eggs um, we took so so we only processed one pig this first time around so we took just about all the pork that we had left and um, you know we took two cool coolers full of whole chickens uh, we even had an idea this time that we'll use for the next time we're gonna bring a cooler full of drinks to sell to people and we're also gonna do boiled peanuts just to kind of add to it a little bit to kind of give another attraction to get somebody to come by and stop and see us, see what we're doing, and maybe they'll want to buy something else. Um, but anyway, have stuff to sell. Uh, we made some special arrangements to get some some uh, blackberries and things like that so that Jamie could make a couple extra rounds of jams because she does that seasonally, and she sold most all of that stuff last season, and there wasn't much left from last season to sell this year. Um, the other thing is, I touched a little bit on visiting the market that you want to go to. So that's a big deal. You want to know where you want to be at in that market. You, you want to know what parts of the market serve different customers. You want to be visible. I mean, you just have to know all those things. And you can feel that when you walk around that market. When, when you get there, you're going to be like, this is where I want to be. For us, we didn't really have a choice because we actually kind of showed up a little bit late so we kind of had to take what we got but it worked out great for us we were right in the parking lot so everybody that pulled in the parking lot looked straight down to the end of the row and they see our banner at our table so it really worked out great for us location is everything you don't want to be shoved off in a corner that's the furthest point away in the market and everybody has to to you know find you by really really looking um the last thing that I want to touch on here, and then I'll close it down, this is getting a little lengthy, um, is customer service. Don't be afraid to talk to people that just pass your booth and are just kind of looking at your banner, looking at your signage, and not really slowing down and asking you any questions. Talk to those people. Talk to them and, and you know, just try to strike up a conversation. I can't tell you on Saturday when we were there, I can't tell you how often 
I was selling things and Jamie was talking to somebody about what we do and how we do it. And then vice versa. I was talking to somebody about, you know, raising pigs, how we do it, raising cows, raising chickens. How do we process chickens? How, what are the Georgia laws showing people our business licenses and, and all of the licenses that we have to do what we're doing? Um, don't be afraid to talk to people, make friends have some business cards take those business cards and hand them out to anybody and everybody that you talk to um we took the opportunity to walk around to some other booths just to see what else was going on and i took our business cards with us or with me when i was walking around and i handed them out and, and we even had other vendors come to us and be like this is crazy we, we've never had a meat market or we've never had a meat vendor here before and, and we want to buy something to try kittens are getting a little hungry anyway um there's a lot of things. God, I can sit here and talk about this and talk about this and talk about this. I really hope that you guys have listened and, and paid attention to some of these tips. Um, I do want to go over real quick what we did sell. So this was a three-hour market, okay? Three hours. That's all it was. We did $598.05 in three hours. These are the items that we sold in three hours. We sold... 14 whole chickens. Uh, we sold 21 one pound packs of hot breakfast sausage. Uh, we sold nine one pound packs of mild breakfast sausage. Uh, we sold three packs of pork chops because that was all we had left. We didn't have any more. We sold them all before we ever went to the market. Um, we sold 27 dozen eggs. Uh, I sold two packs of ground pork. And then we sold 15 jars of Jamie's Jam. Um, we had items to sell. We were able to talk to the people. We made some new friends and hopefully we made some customers for quite some time. Um, I, I am so excited about this and I feel like that it was such a success that you know I, I wanted to pass this information along. Don't be afraid to get out there and do this. Um, you know, we, we started this, the pandemic kind of pushed us into this. People were asking us, you know, do you have this? Can we buy this from you and blah, 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 blah. So we started looking at how to do it. And I started studying and Jamie started studying and, and we watched a bunch of videos. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to, I'm going to put a link to, um, some of the farmer's market videos that I have, uh, watched to get us to this point on their setups and things like that but I'm gonna put a link to their page and probably a link to at least two videos that I thought were really, really good that we learned a lot of, of uh, good things from. So um, get out there and try it. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to, to grow animals ethically and, and, and treat them much better than production farms would treat them uh, and, and just get out there and grow with it. So I'm gonna close this one down because it's getting kind of long, but if you guys have not liked and subscribed, please do so follow along with us and we'll be back with more videos along this line and we'll hopefully teach you guys something as we learn it. Thanks for watching guys.